Here's the story of a normal man who liked to drink all 20. It all started way back in the late 90s when as a young man he was a dashing gentleman full of charisma sharing a glass of rosé with a gorgeous lady whose dress would soon end up in a pile at the end of his bed. As years went by he'd be the social drinker enjoying a few beers with the lads down the pub and having a good old crack. Then, as more years went by, the group of friends would grow smaller and smaller, and soon enough he'd be drinking alone at the bar. Then, as even more years went by, he'd be the dickhead, asleep at the bar, with an inhuman amount of whiskey and beer swilling around in his overgrown belly. Finally, he wouldn't even bother going to the bar anymore. Why pay eight dollars for a draft beer when you can have a six-pack from the 7-Eleven for the same price? Even up until this year, he was the guy waking up on the sofa with a raging hangover and knowing that the only cure was yet another drink. Then one day he had a good look at himself in the mirror, saw the scars from bar brawls, the growing gut, remembered the agony of gallstones and the onset of psoriasis, remembered all the shitty things he had done and said and decided that enough was enough. In the first episode of the not drinking with TJ series. Join me as I ride my motorcycle around the city of Nagoya in the far east and share drunken stories of a funny nature, sad nature, and downright shameful nature. I've been sober for six months now, and if you feel like you have a drinking problem too, if nobody else can help, and if you can find his channel, maybe you can watch. Tarmac Japan. Right out.